Imagine trying to catch a ghost with science, that's what studying dark matter is like. Dark matter doesn't play by the usual rules, it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light. So, how do scientists study it? First, there's gravitational lensing. Dark matter bends light from distant stars and galaxies due to its gravity. By observing this bending, scientists can map dark matter concentrations in the universe. Next, we have particle detectors on Earth. Deep underground, these detectors are shielded from cosmic rays, hoping to catch rare dark matter interactions. Experiments like Xenon-1T and Lux Zeppelin are leading the charge. Then, space-based detectors. Satellites like NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope look for signals from dark matter particle interactions. Don't forget particle colliders. The Large Hadron Collider smashes particles together to recreate early universe conditions, searching for dark matter clues in the debris. Lastly, astrophysical observations and simulations. Observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory use massive data to refine our understanding of dark matter's role in galaxy formation. So, while we might not see dark matter, these methods help us piece together the cosmic puzzle.